Ah, it seems that you have met your end. Oh, what a pity. You know, I, I don't feel too bad about it, though. After all, if it weren't me, it would have just been one of the others, I guess. And I'm honestly just glad to be out of those air ducts. You know, it's, it's not easy for a hippopotamus to fit up there. And not easy to get down either. And not as young as I used to be, as you can see. I used to be able to do all the sorts of things. You're young, you're vibrant, you have that sort of pep in your step. Uh, it reminds me of a conversation I was having with one of my good friends, Orville. We were having a nice picnic one day. I believe it was summer, no, perhaps it was... Was it the fall? Yes, 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 it was the fall because the leaves had turned already. But I said to Orville, I, I says, Orville, I have a story to tell you. And Orville looked at me, you know, kind of odd, and, and said, well, What's it about? I, I said to him, Not every story has to be about something, Orville. Sometimes a person just wants to talk. Why does everything have to be a story? I said to him. He just looked at me and he said, Well, you, you, you said you had a story. And, you know, he was quite right. I did, in fact. I told him I had a story. I suppose if a person just wants to talk, then... It's best to not announce that you're telling a story. Telling a story does come with its own pressures and expectations, I, I suppose. After all, if you're just talking to a friend, then there's no more expectations than if you were talking into the wind. Words by themselves aren't expected to carry, aren't expected to stick. But if, you know, if you announce you're telling a story, well then... There'd better be a point to it all, you know? No one wants to sit and listen to someone ramble on and on and on with absolutely no end in sight.